and up here in the hex bed one of these butternut squash has vined up into the bushes I'm curious what the inside of this little tiny one looks like. Here's an update on the spare plants I planted down here in the compost pile. And I have gotten a few peppers. There's some red ripe serrano peppers. And also the basil. I've been picking leaves off the basil. Here's my tip of the day. When slicing hot peppers, it's a good idea to wear rubber gloves because the hotness in the peppers can get on your skin and your fingers will burn especially when handling a lot of peppers Here's this year's dehydrated stash. Got basil, hot pepper. This is from last year. This is this year's. And the sun sugar cherry tomatoes. And in the freezer, I've got frozen hot peppers and the last of the green beans. I started the lettuce seeds on August 1st and I grow them indoors here in the air conditioning under a little compact fluorescent light. And now it is September 1st and I'm going to transplant them out into the tubs. I store the containers from the spring down here in the crawl space. Keeps the soil nice and dry. Here's one of the last harvests before the first frost. I wait until after the first or second freeze and then bring the pole bean trellis down here to the compost pile. And then it just kind of like crumbles off. I just pull it off. And after about 10 minutes, it's a nice clean trellis ready for next year. I just noticed down here there are little volunteer lettuce seedlings that must have sprouted up by themselves. Well, I've just noticed some aphids on my lettuce plants. So I mixed up some neem oil in water and just gonna spray them down. And all the aphids are gone. 
I've had like below freezing weather so the lettuce kind of has some frost damage but the radishes are growing slowly Here's a little update on my greenhouse. Part of the rubber seal like broke off from where it would like rub against this roof panel. But other than that, the greenhouse is in good shape. One thing I've noticed is like the wind, on windy days, the wind will actually like push the door open. So I installed this little hook and I just put it like that and it like keeps the door shut.